Hello everyone, this is Ether Dragon, and welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem Heroes. So we have this team here. Not the most amazing team, but I could definitely see this team trolling some people. Uh, the main gimmick, of course, is the far save Brave Hector with flame support and pr full max merge Young Minerva and Young Sheeta, which is cool, I guess. But of course, the fun gimmick here, side gimmick, is there's basically, uh, if you try attacking to either of these, you're going to get debuffed a bit more by the Rhine or Inevitable Death. Or as I like to, um, so obviously we have our Bolt Tower. The easiest way to cheese this defense is just to wait for turn three and then go nuke Brave Hector and call it a day. But for the memes, I figured, why not make this episode just doing some daily damage calcs? Because why the heck not? <laughs> and we'll see if we can two-shot Brave Hector. He's going to proc Ether on us, so there's a bit extra to calc. And of course, we have to compute the follow-up shenanigans. The, really the only real follow-up shenanigans that can happen is uh, Minerva moving. And then Yoon going to uh, attack us, or Fl Flane's probably going to attack us because Yoon's probably not killing. Especially since uh, we're going to hit attack smoke on Yoon. So she's only going to have 50 attack with Chaos Manifest active. AKA Nino face tanks that easily because uh, Chaos name is going to target Nino's speed. And Dark Shrine hits Milla. It's not like we're going to use Milla here anyways. <laughs> but uh, let's start by computing Brave Hector's res here. Let's see, that's... We're, we're going to attack into Minerva, so the far save activates. So he gets 41. 45? Yeah, 45 res. Anything else? Alright, let's write this somewhere, because I'm totally going to forget this again. <laughs> 45 res. And now let's compute Nino's attack against Brave Hector. I guess I should might as well calc Brave Hector's attack here while we're at it. So there's 61, 65. Is that it? Looks like it. So 65 attack is going to be 52 attack against Nino. Let's write that down. And now let's go with Nino here. If we we can nearly max buff Nino. Because we're we're gonna just reposition with Kaden. And Nino's in range of Milla. Because again, seven columns and seven rows centered on her. So all the way up to here. Milla buffs all the way up to here. So we're fine there. Unfortunately we can't have Peony here for some more attack. If we're going to attack and then dance and then attack again, so uh, let's see what do we what do we have here? That's going to be 87 with blade tone buffs, 89, 98, and that gets debuffed to 92 and then 88, if I'm correct. So we have 88 attack. Apply good old weapon triangle. We have 105 attack on Nino. So do we just do a straight up clean 60 base damage? That's pretty rigged. You usually don't get that nice numbers. <laughs> uh, all right, so Flane. Flane's damage reduction, he has 30%, just gotta be sure. So we do 42 damage a shot. Um, both shots are just going to be the same because we're initiating to Hector. There's no like post combat debuffs or whatnot. So we do a total of 84 damage to Brave Hector. And so, um, the main thing is how much does he heal off with Ether? If he heals, if he heals more than 18, we can't one round KO. And then basically all our work gets destroyed because of healing tower. <laughs> so Nino, let's see. 36, 42, 48, 50, 25, 
Uh, so Brave Hector does 27 damage. So like 2 plus 27, 29 damage. So basically we're nowhere near dying to Brave Hector. And he only heals back 13. So we're fine to two-shot him. All right. And then the follow-up is whatever. We don't need to calc that right. <laughs> um, oh wait, I forgot attack defense rain, right? Oops. <laughs> Oops. Uh, did I forget? I don't remember. Let's see. 42, 48, 50. Yeah, I definitely forgot it. <laughs> forgot, forgot about the, the Rhine there. I know people pronounce it Rain, but because Reinhardt, <laughs> uh, I just call it Rhine for the memes. Um, all right, almost goofed there. So against 42, 48, 50, 40, 20. So he does 32 damage. Um... So 32 plus 12, right? Yeah, 32 plus 12. So 44 damage to Nino in total. And then the second hit is the Aether proc. So he heals 16. So we we do essentially just enough damage. We do 84 damage. He effectively is going to have 82. 82 health so with the heal so we can go in perfectly fine we take 44 so we're at 18 but again yoon cannot do any damage to nino she's in brazen range there's kaden uh so what is that 60 res against like even if she wasn't debuffed for attack she's still not doing any damage so we should be totally fine yeah Wait, I forgot about Mila buffing res, so she has even more res. <laughs> uh, yeah. This is, uh, not going to... Let's see if we were correct on our calcs. So, we got the... That, that's 44, right? Yeah, it's 44 damage. But we're only doing, uh... How much did we calc we were doing? We're doing 42. Yeah, we did 42. And we calc all that correctly. And you can see there he's at 40 health and we do 42 damage. But Peony, I forgot. <laughs> Peony's gonna swoop in with Gentle Dream. So I uh, kind of forgot about that part. I think at that point then we get 91 attack. And I'm just doing this for the heck of it. So that's 109 attack against his 45 res. So it's uh, base 64 damage, which gets reduced to 45. So yeah, it, it, it was less close than it was. It, I thought it was going to be. But uh, that, that wasn't 45 damage, but let's just ignore that I probably just missed something really obvious. <laughs> right, we're in brazen range. <laughs> so yeah, it was, it was nowhere, not even, it, it was definitely not even close. For sure. <laughs> uh, it's terrible. But yeah, that, that's basically why this is already GG. Uh, I think we'll just do this for the heck of it. Just to buff Nino for the next turn. We do get hit by Tactics Room. Not really moving too much here. Uh, we're pretty much free to just go in and attack. Of course, Flane and company doing things. So I think we're just free to break this, this, uh, probably should have, uh, we can do this actually, we'll just, we can just goofball at this point, um, not really worry about anything, probably we'll see Flane attacking here, because she doesn't die, there we go, and there should probably be a repo, yeah. And you can see Yoon doing zero damage there. So now we can just bully the rest of the units here and it's GG. Um, there's the healing tower. We can break it if we feel like it. Might as well. I guess our main concern would be just Sheeta, probably along those lines. 
can go ahead and break this and break this for the heck of it so they don't heal. And now we're going to goofball trying to grab the ether structures <laughs> because we're doing the uh, don't activate trap shenanigans. So we can just bait out hell and work out the details later, probably. I think we should probably... Uh, hmm. Kind of want to feed Peony the kills now. <laughs> uh, she can probably survive a shot from Sheeta's vantage, right? Because, let's see, 61... 66... Yeah, that seems about right. Yeah, definitely with our buffing as well. We'll be fine. Yes. Wait, I said I wanted to feed the kill to Peony. Okay, I'm making this really awkward. <laughs> uh, let's do this so we can get air to grab the ether structure next turn. Uh, I don't know what the heck we're doing. We're just goofballing at this point. What's new in the house? Yeah. Wait, I forgot. She doesn't even have distant counter. I'm so brain dead. <laughs> this is so bad. Alright, so now I think we just want to... Repo with Caden, question mark. Or do this. I don't know what the heck we're doing. We're goofballing, trying to feed the kill to Peony. This is not arena. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. We're just ultra goofballing yes. today, I guess. This is some real goofballing, I gotta say. Uh, now what? I mean, we're still fine, Trans. We're, we're really just goofballing. I don't know. This is some real meme BM. <laughs> Alright, we can drop Nino back. And then we can smite up Caden so we don't have to activate any of the traps. And of course we have two more attackers if somehow Peony can't kill here. But uh, yeah, that's uh, GG. We're, we're just goofballing because of course we had Bolt Tower. It was a trivial... It, it would have been a trivial win regardless. Of course, we wouldn't be able to goofball that many turns because we would burn three turns doing nothing, basically. But, uh, yeah. Um, since the video is uh, decently long enough, let's just call it here. And if the next match is interesting, then we'll record it. But until then, that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. As always, this is Eth Dragon, and hope to see you all next time. Bye!